This video will help you understand the pronunciation of terms, saves reading time, share with your colleagues and be sure to subscribe. Types of life policies. Now that you have studied general life insurance concepts, you are ready to learn about the different types of life insurance policies. By the end of this chapter, you will know the major types of life insurance policies, their characteristics and functions, and who would be best served by each type. As you are reading about a policy, ask yourself what makes this type of policy different from the others. The process of determining the suitability of certain policies for different life situations can make it easier for you to distinguish between the many types of policies covered in this chapter. Terms to know, accumulate, build up, attained age, the insured's age at the time the policy is renewed or replaced. Cash value. A policy savings element or living benefit, deferred, withheld or postponed until a specified time or event in the future. Indel. To have the cash value of a whole life policy reach the contractual face amount. Base amount, the amount of benefits stated in the life insurance policy. Fixed life insurance products. Contracts that offer guaranteed minimum or fixed benefits. Lapse policy termination due to non-payment of premium. Level premium. The premium that does not change throughout the life of a policy. Non-forfeiture values. Benefits in a life insurance policy that the policy owner cannot lose even if the policy is surrendered or lapses. Policy maturity in life policies. The time when the face value is paid out. Securities, financial instruments that may trade for value, for example, stocks, bonds, options. Variable life insurance products. Contracts in which the cash values accumulate based upon a specific portfolio of stocks without guarantees of performance. 2. Be able to identify the key features of each of the following general classes and their appropriate uses term whole life, universal life, indexed universal life, variable life and variable universal life. 2. B.5. Be able to identify the following types of term products, level term, renewable term, convertible term, decreasing term. Universal life designed as term. There are many types of life insurance products available for consumers. Although all life insurance products offer death protection. Each type also includes its own unique features and benefits and is designed to serve different insured's needs. Regarding the length of coverage, all life insurance policies fall into two categories. Temporary and permanent protection. A. Term life insurance. Term insurance is temporary protection because it only provides coverage for a specific period of time. It is also known as pure life insurance. Term policies provide for the greatest amount of coverage for the lowest premium as compared to any other form of protection. There is usually a maximum age above which coverage will not be offered or at which coverage cannot be renewed. Term insurance provides what is known as pure death protection. If the insured dies during this term, the policy pays the death benefit to the beneficiary. If the policy is cancelled or expires prior to the insured's death, nothing is payable at the end of the term. There is no cash value or other living benefits. Know this. Term insurance provides the greatest amount of coverage for the lowest premium. Know this. Term insurance has no cash value. There are three basic types of term coverage available based on how the face amount death benefit changes during the policy term. Level. Increasing. Decreasing. Regardless of the type of term insurance purchased, the premium is level throughout the term of the policy. Only the amount of the death benefit may fluctuate. Depending on the type of term insurance, upon selling, renewing, or converting the term policy, the premium is figured at attained age, the insured's age at the time of transaction. 1. Level term. Level term insurance is the most common type of temporary protection purchased. The word level refers to the death benefit that does not change throughout the life of the policy. 
Know this. Level and level term insurance refers to the death benefit, which does not change. Level premium term, level premium term, as the name implies, provides a level death benefit and a level premium during the policy term. For example, a $100,000 10-year level term policy will provide a $100,000 death benefit if the insured dies any time during the 10-year period. The premium will remain level during the entire 10-year period. If the policy renews at the end of the 10-year period, the premium will be based on the insured's attained age at the time of renewal. Annually Renewable Term Annually Renewable Term ART is the purest form of term insurance. The death benefit remains level, in that sense, it's a level term policy. And the policy may be guaranteed to be renewable each year without proof of insurability, but the premium increases annually according to the attained age as the probability of death increases. Indeterminate premium. An indeterminate premium term policy contains a provision that provides a current premium scale, non-guaranteed, and a maximum premium scale, guaranteed, beyond which premiums cannot be raised. 2. Decreasing term. Decreasing term policies feature a level premium and a death benefit that decreases each year over the duration of the policy term. Decreasing term is primarily used when the amount of needed protection is time sensitive or decreases over time. Decreasing term coverage is commonly purchased to ensure the payment of a mortgage or other debts if the insured dies prematurely. The amount of coverage thereby decreases as the outstanding loan balance decreases each year. A decreasing term policy is usually convertible, however. It is usually not renewable since the death benefit is $0 at the end of the policy term. 3. Increasing term Increasing term features level premiums and a death benefit that increases each year over the duration of the policy term. The amount of the increase in the death benefit is usually expressed as a specific amount or a percentage of the original amount. Increasing term is often used by insurance companies to fund certain riders that provide refund of premiums or a gradual increase in total coverage, such as the cost of living or return of premium riders. This type of policy would be ideal to handle inflation and the increasing cost of living. It is also often added to another policy as a rider, such as with return of premium policies, return of premium, return of premium, ROP. Life insurance is an increasing term insurance policy that pays an additional death benefit to the beneficiary equal to the amount of the premiums paid. The return of premium is paid if the death occurs within a specified period of time or if the insured outlives the policy term. ROP policies are structured to consider the low risk factor of a term policy but at a significant increase in premium cost sometimes as much as 25% to 50% more. Traditional term policies offer a low cost, simple death benefit for a specified term but have no investment component or cash value. When the term is over, the policy expires and the insured is without coverage. An ROP policy offers the pure protection of a term policy, but if the insured remains healthy and is still alive once the term limit expires, the insurance company guarantees a return of premium. However, since the amount returned equals the amount paid in, the returned premiums are not taxable. Example, a healthy 30-year-old male pays $380 annually for a $250,000 30-year term policy. At the end of the 30 years, he has paid a total of $11,400 in premiums which will be returned to him if he is still alive. The insurance company has determined that $250 per year or $7,500 over 30 years will cover the actual cost of protection. The excess funds which the insurer invests provide the cash for the return premiums. 4. Special Features Renewable and Convertible Most term insurance policies are renewable, convertible, or renewable and convertible, R&C. 
The renewable provision allows the policy owner the right to renew the coverage at the expiration date without evidence of insurability. The premium for the new term policy will be based on the insured's current age. For example, a 10-year term policy that is renewable can be renewed at the end of the 10-year period for a subsequent 10-year period without evidence of insurability. However, the insured will have to pay the premium that is based on his or her attained age. If an individual purchases a 10-year term policy at age 35, he or she will pay a premium based on the age of 45 upon renewing the policy. The convertible provision provides the policy owner with the right to convert the policy to a permanent insurance policy without evidence of insurability. The premium will be based on the insured's attained age at the time of conversion. B. Whole Life Insurance Permanent life insurance is a general term used to refer to various forms of life insurance policies that build cash value and remain in effect for the entire life of the insured or until age 100 s. Long as the premium is paid, the most common type of permanent insurance is whole life. Whole life insurance provides lifetime protection and includes a savings element or cash value. Whole life policies endow at the insured's age 100, which means the cash value created by the accumulation of premium is scheduled to equal the face amount of the policy at age 100. The policy premium is calculated assuming that the policy owner will be paying the premium until that age. Premiums for whole life policies usually are higher than for term insurance. The following are key characteristics of whole life insurance. Level premium. The premium for whole life policies is based on the issue age, therefore, it remains the same throughout the life of the policy. Death benefit. The death benefit is guaranteed and also remains level for life. Cash value. The cash value created by the accumulation of premium is scheduled to equal the face amount of the policy when the insured reaches age 100, the policy maturity date, and is paid out to the policy owner. Remember, the insured and the policy owner do not have to be the same person. Cash values are credited to the policy on a regular basis and have a guaranteed interest rate. Living benefits. The policy owner can borrow against the cash value while the policy is in effect or can receive the cash value when the policy is surrendered. The cash value, also called non-forfeiture value, does not usually accumulate until the third policy year and it grows tax deferred. Know this. Whole life insurance provides lifetime permanent protection and accumulates cash value. The three basic forms of whole life insurance are straight whole life, limited pay whole life and single premium whole life. However, other forms and combination plans may also be available. 1. Straight life continuous premium. Straight life also referred to as ordinary life or continuous premium whole life is the basic whole life policy illustrated above. The policy owner pays the premium from the time the policy is issued until the insured's death or age 100, whichever occurs first. Of the common whole life policies, straight life will have the lowest annual premium. 2. Limited Payment Unlike straight life, limited pay whole life is designed so that the premiums for coverage will be completely paid up well before age 100. Some of the more common versions of limited pay life are 20 pay life whereby coverage is completely paid for in 20 years. And life paid up at 65 LP 65 whereby the coverage is completely paid up for by the insured's age 65. All other factors being equal. This type of policy has a shorter premium paying period than straight life insurance so the annual premium will be higher. Cash value builds up faster for the limited pay policies. Limited pay policies are well suited for those insured who do not want to be paying premiums beyond a certain point in time. For example, an individual may need some protection after retirement, but does not want to be paying premiums at that time. A limited pay paid up at 65 policy purchased during the person's working years will accomplish that objective. 3. Single Premium 
Single premium whole life SPWL is designed to provide a level death benefit to the insured's age 100 for a one-time lump sum payment. The policy is completely paid up after one premium and generates immediate cash. 4. Other Types of Whole Life Policies Interest Sensitive Whole Life Interest Sensitive Whole Life, also referred to as Current Assumption Life, is a whole life policy that provides a guaranteed death benefit to age 100. The insurer sets the initial premium based on current assumptions about risk, interest and expense. If the actual values change, the company will lower or raise the premium at designated intervals. In addition, interest-sensitive whole life policies credit the cash value with the current interest rate that is usually comparable to money market rates and can be higher than the guaranteed levels. The policy also provides for a minimum guaranteed rate of interest. Interest-sensitive whole life provides the same benefits as other traditional whole life policies with the added benefit of current interest rates, which may allow for either greater cash value accumulation or a shorter premium paying period. Modified and Graded Premium Whole Life Modified life is a type of whole life policy that charges a lower premium similar to term rates in the first few policy years, usually the first three to five years, and then a higher level premium for the remainder of the insured's life. The higher subsequent premium is typically higher than a straight life premium would be for the same age and amount of coverage. These policies were developed to make the purchase of whole life insurance more attractive for individuals who, for example, are just starting out and have limited financial resources, but will be able to afford the higher premiums in the future as their income grows. Graded premium whole life is somewhat similar to modified life in that premiums start out relatively low and then level off at a point in the future. A graded premium whole life policy typically starts with a premium that is approximately 50% or lower than the premium of a straight life policy. The premium then gradually increases each year for a period of usually 5 or 10 years and then remains level thereafter. Modified life and graded premium life policies are useful as a compromise between straight life and convertible term insurance since the premium is less than straight life in the early years. But some cash value is being accumulated. The actual premiums paid over the life of the contract for a modified or graded premium policy are actually the same as paying for a straight life policy to age 100. Indeterminate premium Indeterminate premium whole life policies have the premium rate that may vary from year to year. These policies specify two premium rates. A guaranteed level premium stated in the contract maximum premium and a non-guaranteed lower premium rate that the policy owner actually pays for a set period of time. After the initial period, usually two to three years, the insurer establishes a new rate which could be raised, kept the same or lowered based on the company's expected mortality, expense and investments. The premium, however, can never be higher than the guaranteed maximum. C. Special coverages. 4. Be able to identify each of the following special coverages and when they are appropriate. A. Mortgage redemption. B. Family Protection, Family Policy, Family Rider C. Policies Linked to Indexes D. Juvenile Policies Including Jumping Juvenile and Pair Rider E. Return of Premium F. Joint Life and Survivorship Policies 1. Mortgage Redemption A mortgage redemption provision ensures borrowers for an amount equal to their mortgages. If the borrower insured dies, the insurer assumes responsibility for paying the outstanding loan balance to the insured's creditor. 2. Family Protection Family Policy Family Rider A family protection or family policy combines whole life with term insurance to cover family members in a single policy, providing coverage on every member of a family. The family policy typically provides whole life insurance on the breadwinner of the family and convertible term insurance on the other family members. 
the spouse has the opportunity to convert his or her term coverage to permanent coverage up until age 65. Children are automatically covered after birth for a specified period of time, usually 30 or 31 days. To continue coverage for the newborn after the initial period, the parents must inform the insurer of the birth within that time period. The children may convert their term coverage to permanent coverage when they turn the age of 21 or the maximum age for coverage as a dependent that is stated in the policy. Without evidence of insurability, the family term rider incorporates the spouse term rider along with the children's term rider in a single rider. When added to a whole life policy, the family term rider provides level term life insurance benefits covering the spouse and all of the children in the family. Family term equals spouse term plus children's term. 3. Joint life and survivorship life. Joint life is a single policy that is designed to insure two or more lives. Joint life policies can be in the form of term insurance or permanent insurance. The premium for joint life would be less than for the same type and amount of coverage on the same individuals. It is more commonly found as joint whole life which functions similarly to an individual whole life policy with two major exceptions. The premium is based on a joint average age that is between the ages of the insureds. The death benefit is paid upon the first death only. A premium based on joint age is less than the sum of two premiums based on individual age. So it is common to find joint life policies issued on husbands and wives. This is particularly so if the need for insurance is such that it does not extend beyond the first death. Joint life policies are used when there is a need for two or more persons to be protected. However, the need for the insurance is no longer present after the first of the insured's dies. For example, a married couple purchasing a house may use a joint life policy for mortgage protection if both spouses work and earn close to the same amount of income. If one spouse dies, the insurance pays the mortgage for the surviving spouse. Joint life is also used to ensure the lives of business partners in the funding of a buy-sell agreement and other business life needs. A buy-sell is a business continuation agreement that determines what will be done with the business in the event that an owner dies or becomes disabled. Know this. Premium rates on a joint life policy are determined by averaging the ages of both insureds. Survivorship life, also referred to as second to die or last survivor policy, is much the same as joint life in that it insures two or more lives for a premium that is based on a joint age. The major difference is that survivorship life pays on the last death rather than upon the first death. Since the death benefit is not paid until the last death, the joint life expectancy in a sense is extended, resulting in a lower premium than that which is typically charged for joint life, which pays upon the first death. This type of policy is often used to offset the liability of the estate tax upon the death of the last insured. Know this, joint life equals first to die. Survivorship life equals second to die, last survivor. 4. Juvenile Policies Jumping Juvenile Juvenile life insurance is as the name implies. Any life insurance written on the life of a minor. A common juvenile policy is known as the Jumping Juvenile Policy because the face amount increases at a predetermined age, often age 21. The face amount jumps but the premium remains level. Payer Rider the payer benefit rider is primarily used with juvenile policies, any life insurance written on the life of a minor. Otherwise, it functions like the waiver of premium rider. If the payer, usually a parent or guardian, becomes disabled for at least six months or dies, the insurer will waive the premiums until the minor reaches a certain age, such as 21. This rider is also used when the owner and the insured are two different individuals. 5. Return of Premium The return of premium rider is implemented by using increasing term insurance. When added to a whole life policy, it provides that at death prior to a given age. 
Not only is the original face amount payable, but an amount equal to all premiums previously paid is also payable to the beneficiary. The return of premium rider usually expires at a specified age such as age 60. 6. Policies linked to indexes The main feature of index whole life or equity index whole life insurance is that the cash value is dependent upon the performance of the equity index. Such as S&P 500 although there is a guaranteed minimum interest rate. The policy's face amount increases annually to keep pace with inflation as the consumer price index increases without requiring evidence of insurability. Indexed whole life policies are classified depending on whether the policy owner or the insurer assumes the inflation risk. If the policy owner assumes the risk, the policy premiums increase with the increases in the face amount. If the insurer assumes the risk, the premium remains level. D. Flexible premium policies. There are several other types of whole life policies. While they all have the same key characteristics, they may also offer unique features based on how the policy owner pays the premium or how the premium is invested. Flexible premium policies allow the policy owner to pay more or less than the planned premium. 1. Adjustable life. Adjustable life was developed in an effort to provide the policy owner with the best of both worlds term and permanent coverage. An adjustable life policy can assume the form of either term insurance or permanent insurance. The insured typically determines how much coverage is needed and the affordable amount of premium. The insurer will then determine the appropriate type of insurance to meet the insured's needs. As the insured's needs change, the policy owner can make adjustments in his or her policy. Typically, the policy owner has the following options. Increase or decrease the premium or the premium paying period. Increase or decrease the face amount. Change the period of protection. The policy owner also has the option of converting from term to whole life or vice versa. However, increases in the death benefit or changing to a lower premium type of policy will usually require proof of insurability. In the case of converting from a whole life policy to a term policy, the insurer may adjust the death benefit. The policy owner may also pay additional premiums above and beyond what is required under the permanent form in order to accumulate greater cash value or to shorten the premium paying period. Although adjustable life policies contain most of the common features of other whole life policies, the cash value of an adjustable life policy only develops when the premiums paid are more than the cost of the policy. 2. Universal Life Universal life insurance is also known by the generic name of flexible premium adjustable life. That implies that the policy owner has the flexibility to increase the amount of premium paid into the policy and to later decrease it again. In fact, the policy owner may even skip paying a premium and the policy will not lapse as long as there is sufficient cash value at the time to cover the monthly deductions for cost of insurance. If the cash value is too small, the policy will expire. Since the premium can be adjusted, the insurance companies may give the policy owner a choice to pay either of the two types of premiums. The minimum premium is the amount needed to keep the policy in force for the current year. Paying the minimum premium will make the policy perform as an annually renewable term product. The target premium is a recommended amount that should be paid on a policy in order to cover the cost of insurance protection and to keep the policy in force throughout its lifetime. Know this. If an insured skips a premium payment on a universal life policy, the missing premium may be deducted from the policy's cash value. The policy will not lapse. As well as being a flexible premium policy, the universal life is also an interest-sensitive policy. Although the insurer guarantees a contract interest rate usually 3 to 6 percent, there is also potential for the policy owner to get a current interest rate, which is not guaranteed in the contract but may be higher because of current market conditions. 
A universal life policy has two components, an insurance component and a cash account. The insurance component of a universal life policy is always annually renewable term insurance. Universal life policies allow the partial withdrawal, partial surrender of the policy cash value. However, there may be a charge for each withdrawal and there are usually limits as to how much and how often a withdrawal may be made. During the withdrawal, the interest earned on the withdrawn cash value may be subject to taxation depending upon the plan. The death benefit will be reduced by the amount of any partial surrender. Note, however, that a partial surrender from a universal life policy is not the same as a policy loan. Death Benefit Options Universal Life offers one of two death benefit options to the policy owner. Option A is the level death benefit option, and option B is the increasing death benefit option. Under option A, level death benefit option, the death benefit remains level while the cash value gradually increases thereby lowering the pure insurance with the insurer in the later years. Notice that the pure insurance is actually decreasing as time passes lowering the expenses and allowing for greater cash value in the older years. The reason that the illustration shows an increase in the death benefit at a later point in time is so that the policy will comply with a statutory definition of life insurance that was established by the IRS and applies to all life insurance contracts issued after December 31, 1984. According to this definition, there must be a specified corridor or gap maintained between the cash value and the death benefit in a life insurance policy. The percentages that apply to the corridor are established in a table published by the IRS and vary as to the age of the insured and the amount of coverage. If this corridor is not maintained, the policy is no longer defined as life insurance for tax purposes and consequently loses most of the tax advantages that have been associated with life insurance. Under Option B, Increasing Death Benefit Option the death benefit includes the annual increase in cash value so that the death benefit gradually increases each year by the amount that the cash value increases. At any point in time, the total death benefit will always be equal to the face amount of the policy plus the current amount of cash value. Since the pure insurance with the insurer remains level for life, the expenses of this option are much greater than those for option A, thereby causing the cash value to be lower in the older years, all else being equal. Indexed Universal Life Indexed Universal Life is a universal life policy with an equity index as its investment feature. It has many of the same characteristics as the variable universal life flexible premiums. An adjustable death benefit, the policy owner decides where the cash value will be invested with the primary difference being the investment feature. Under a variable universal life policy, the policy's cash value is dependent upon the performance of one or more investment funds. Under the equity index universal policy, the policy's cash value is dependent upon the performance of the equity index. Cash values and death benefit are not guaranteed. Sale of the equity indexed universal life product does not require a securities license whereas the sale of variable universal life does require securities and life license. Guaranteed universal life. Unlike universal life insurance which accumulates interest dependent on market indexes guaranteed universal life insurance eliminates the reliance on market risk and provides more affordable coverage. This policy does not accumulate cash value, which allows for lower monthly premiums as compared to universal life insurance. Because there is no cash value component, the death benefit remains level throughout the life of the policy. The policy has a no lapse guarantee, which means that as long as the policy owner pays the premium, the coverage will remain in force. Guaranteed universal life is similar to term life insurance in that it provides coverage up to a certain period, however, instead of the policy lasting for a specific number of years. 
a guarantee universal life police may be set for the rest of the insured's life or up to a specific age usually 90 95 or 100 survivorship universal life Survivorship Universal Life Soul Insurance, also called Second to Die Life Insurance, is a permanent life insurance policy that covers two people. Souls pay benefits after both insureds have passed away. Since souls provide coverage on two people, it's considered more affordable than two individual permanent policies. Souls are a suitable option for insureds who intend to leave the policy proceeds to the beneficiaries to fund a buy-sell agreement on a business or to make charitable donations. Insureds under survivorship universal life policies may choose to raise or lower premiums as needed during the policy period. The cash value of Sewell policies grows tax-deferred. Death benefits paid to beneficiaries are typically income tax-free. E. Variable products. Fixed life insurance or annuities are contracts that offer guaranteed minimum or fixed benefits that are stated in the contract. Variable life insurance or annuities are contracts in which the cash values accumulate based upon a specific portfolio of stocks without guarantees of performance. Variable annuities keep pace with inflation and are determined by the value of securities backing it. 1. Variable Life Variable life insurance, sometimes referred to as variable whole life insurance, is a level, fixed premium, investment-based product. Like traditional forms of life insurance, these policies have fixed premiums and a guaranteed minimum death benefit. The cash value of the policy, however, is not guaranteed and fluctuates with the performance of the portfolio in which the premiums have been invested by the insurer. The policy owner bears the investment risk in variable contracts. Because the insurance company is not sustaining the investment risk of the contract, the underlying assets of the contract cannot be kept in the insurance company's general account. These assets must be held in a separate account, which invests in stocks, bonds, and other securities investment options. Any domestic insurer issuing variable contracts must establish one or more separate accounts. Each separate account must maintain assets with a value at least equal to the reserves and other contract liabilities. Assets in a separate account cannot be commingled with assets in the general account. 2. Variable Universal Life Variable Universal Life Insurance is a type of insurance that combines many features of the whole life with the flexible premium of universal life and the investment component of variable life, making it a securities version of the universal life insurance. Variable Universal Life Insurance, like Universal Life itself, has the following features and characteristics. A flexible premium that can be increased, decreased, or skipped as long as there is enough value in the policy to fund the death benefit. Increasing and decreasing the amount of insurance. Cash withdrawals or policy loans. Unlike universal life, most of the investment vehicles in variable universal life policies do not guarantee return. 3. Regulation of Variable Products SEC, FINRA and state, variable life insurance products are duly regulated by the state and federal government due to the element of investment risk. The federal government has declared that variable contracts are securities and are thus regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, and the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority FINRA, formerly known as the National Association of Securities Dealers NASD. Variable life insurance is also regulated by the insurance department as an insurance product. Agents selling variable life insurance products must be registered with FINRA, be licensed by the state to sell life insurance, have received a securities license. Policies compared, adjustable life. Key features can be term or whole life can convert from one to the other. Premium can be increased or decreased by policy owners. Base amount. 
flexible, set by policy owner with proof of insurability, cash value, fixed rate of return, general account, policy loans can borrow cash value universal life, key features, permanent insurance with renewable term protection component, premium, flexible, minimum or target, base amount, flexible, set by policy owner with proof of insurability, cash value, Guaranteed at a minimum level general account, policy loans can borrow cash value, variable life, key features permanent insurance, premium, fixed if whole life, flexible if universal life, base amount can increase or decrease to a stated minimum, cash value, not guaranteed, separate account, policy loans can borrow cash value. 1. Be able to differentiate between the following types of life insurance policies participating and non-participating. See the Insurance Marketplace Chapter, Individual and Group. F. Individual versus Group Life Insurance. Individual life insurance is written on a single life. The rate and coverage are based upon the underwriting of that individual. Group life insurance is written as a master policy issued to the sponsoring organization covering the lives of more than one individual member of that group. Individuals covered by group life insurance do not receive a policy but receive a certificate of insurance from the master policy. The amount of coverage on certificate holders must be determined according to non-discriminatory rules. The rate and coverage are based upon group underwriting with all individuals covered for the same amount and rate. The cost of coverage paid by the employer in excess of $50,000 is taxed to the employee. Other characteristics of group policies include The group must exist for a reason other than purchasing group insurance. Individual members covered under the group master policy must have the right to convert their coverage to an individual policy without evidence of insurability should they leave the group. G. Credit life. Credit insurance is a special type of coverage written to insure the life of the debtor and pay off the balance of a loan in the event of the death of the debtor. Credit life is usually written as decreasing term insurance and it may be written as an individual policy or as a group plan. When written as a group policy, the creditor is the owner of the master policy and each debtor receives a certificate of insurance. The creditor is the owner and the beneficiary of the policy although the premiums are generally paid by the borrower or the debtor. Credit life insurance cannot pay out more than the balance of the debt so that there is no financial incentive for the death of the insured. The creditors may require the debtor to have life insurance. They cannot, however, require that the debtor buys insurance from a specific insurer. Know this. Credit life insurance cannot pay out more than the balance of the debt. H. Chapter Recap This chapter was full of information about different types of life insurance policies. Make sure you know all of the types of policies discussed in this chapter can recognize their major characteristics and can compare and contrast different types of policies. Let's recap all of these concepts. Term Life General Characteristics Pure protection, last for specific term, no cash value, level premium term, level death benefit and level premium, annually renewable term, renews each year without proof of insurability, premiums increase due to attained age, decreasing term, coverage decreases at predetermined times gradually, best used when the need for protection declines from year to year, increasing term, Coverage increases each year. Whole life. General characteristics. Permanent protection. Guaranteed elements. Base amount. Premium. And cash value. Until death or age 100. Level premium. Cash value and other living benefits. Straight life. Continuous premium. Basic policy. Level death benefit. Insured pays premiums for life or until age 100. Limited payment. Premiums are paid until a certain age or time. Coverage in effect to age 100. Single payment premiums paid in one lump sum and coverage continues to age 100.
flexible premium, general characteristics, types of whole life insurance, flexible premium, adjustable life, policy owner may adjust the premium and premium paying period, the face amount and the period of protection can be converted from term to whole life and vice versa. Cash value only develops if the premiums paid are more than the cost of the policy. Universal life has an insurance component in the form of annually renewable term. Two death benefit options, option up level death benefit and option B, increasing death benefit, can make partial surrender cash withdrawal. Flexibility through unbundling, separating, other types of policies, variable life, fixed premium, minimum death benefit, cash value and the actual amount of death benefit are not guaranteed. Assets in separate accounts, agents must be duly licensed in insurance and in securities. Joint life first to die, insures two or more people. Premium based on a joint age of the insured, benefit paid upon the first death, survivorship life second to die insures two or more people premium based on a joint age of the insured benefit paid upon the last death group life master contract goes to the sponsor usually employer certificate of insurance goes to member underwritten as a group if coverage after open enrollment proof of insurability is required conversion to individual policy in 31 days same face amount but higher premiums due to attained age